Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Contra for the NES. This game is easily in my top 10 favorite NES games of all time, and I've been wanting to do a Let's Play of this game for a while now. No, I'm not going to use the infamous code to get 30 lives. I'm going to beat the game with the 3 lives they give to you at the beginning. With that said, let's get started. Do you know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby. You're gonna die. This game is one of my favorite two-player games of all time. Me and my friends used to spend hours playing this game back in the day. Whoa, how did I dodge that? Good thing I got quick reflexes. Oh shit, another close call. The graphics in this game are great, the gameplay is excellent, and the music kicks major ass. And we have reached the first boss. Make sure you take this guy out at the top first. What I like to do is stand on the left side of this platform and just fire away. They shouldn't be able to hit you with their bullets. And just like that, we defeat the first boss. The spread gun with rapid fire, now it's time to kick some major ass. Get away from me, fiery weapon. I'd prefer to keep my spread gun, thank you. Now we have reached the second boss. I recommend taking out the guns first, then destroy the red circle things. Now we face the real boss. Some eyeball thing that throws circle things at you. Okay. He's pretty easy, just keep shooting him. Now we travel to the waterfall stage. The only thing you have to watch out for besides the enemies is falling off the bottom of the screen. It will kill you, so make sure your jumps are precise. I love that sound. That means you are awarded an extra life from the video gaming gods.
I did look up the world records for this game at TwinGalaxies.com. The fastest completion of this game was 10 minutes and 51 seconds. All I have to say about that is wow. And the highest score is the maxed out score of 6,553,500. I would guess that is beating this game about 10 times in a row. And we have reached the third boss, this alien demon looking thing. Destroy his arms first and then destroy his mouth. Once the arms are destroyed, stand in this spot and shoot straight up. He cannot hit you from here. And just like that, he is defeated. Oh yeah, it's time to destroy another base. Love that sound, just got another extra man. Now we have reached the fourth boss. Just like the second boss, make sure you take out the gun first. And now we face the real boss, two transformer heads that shoot jelly beans at you. Just watch out for the jelly beans and the transformer heads are pretty easy. One down, one more to go. And just like that, the Transformer heads are defeated. This stage is probably the hardest stage for me. The enemies and bombs come from all directions, and there's just so much stuff to watch out for. Like these sneaky bastards from behind. Oh, I can't believe I dorked out that bad. That was the first time I died in this game. Then I'm going to dork out again. Now we're going to take on this tank-like vehicle. 
Go all the way to the left of the screen and barely turn around and fire as fast as you can. Yes, an extra life. I might need it at this point. Whoa, that was close. Now we face another tank. Just use the same strategy as before. I don't care too much for the laser gun, but at this point I'll take it. And now we have reached the fifth boss, a flying saucer that shits bombs on you and sends out baby ships that try to kill you. And just like that, the bomb shitting saucer is defeated. Oh yeah, I'm taking the machine gun over the lasers any day. Sneaky, sneaky. You can't fool me, Contra. I know all your tricks. Awesome, another extra life. I can't believe I just died there. This part here can be very tricky to time, so just take your time. Whoa, nice jump. Alright, I'm invincible. What I like to do is run into everybody besides shoot them. Now we have reached the sixth boss, a jumping alien who likes to throw discs at you. And with that last shot, the jumping alien is defeated. The fiery weapon is definitely not worth dying for. Look at that guy, he's trying to be slick, he ducked and shot. Now I am invincible again, I'm just going to run into everything. 
or they can just run into me. Look how idiotic these soldiers are. They just run into walls and kill themselves. Now we will battle with the seventh boss. It looks like a home base or fortress of some kind. What I like to do is take out the guns that are underneath this first, and watch out for, for soldiers coming from either side. After taking out both guns, shoot at the goat thing above the door, and just like that, the boss is defeated. All that's left is the final stage, the Alien's Lair. Whoa, what the hell is that? Looks like something from the movie Alien. Just keep firing at his mouth and dodge the shrimp that he spits out at you. Ooh, I hate these enemies. Watch out for those white things they spit at you. They are very fast. Yes, I was so happy I didn't miss that spread shot. Without it, this level can be very difficult. When you start seeing spiders coming for you, you know you're close to the boss. And there's the final boss, a ginormous heart. What I like to do here is take out the bottom two spider pods, then attack the heart, but watch out for the falling spiders. And just like that, the ginormous heart is defeated. Congratulations! You destroyed the vile Red Falcon and saved the universe. Consider yourself a hero. I can't say enough how much I love this game. It was fun to play as a kid, and it's still fun to play today. I have to admit this, I really surprised myself. I don't think I've ever beat this game without using the code to get 30 lives.
So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Contra for the NES. I want to thank you again for watching and thanks for the support.